Football final. It's not a small matter. It's uh, a race that will decide fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth races, uh, eighth places, I should say. And having just uh, outlined uh, the prize money, fifth place, 2,500 uh, Swiss francs. As you see, uh, that's uh, wearing eight there. That's uh, Hilda Pedersen, of course. Sorry, ten, Fiola Bauer. And uh, five, Milene uh, Tirio. So this race is uh, worth points, worth money. So away we go. Should be uh, a little bit more competitive than the semi-finals. Viola Bauer in second from the left of your picture there. With uh, a narrow advantage into the first turn. But then Milene Tellio on the inside. Now moving ahead by a length. So Canada leading the race at the moment. At the uh, back there, wearing uh, bib number 14, that's Tina Bai of uh, Norway. So Viola Bauer regains the advantage from Milene Tellio and then Hilda Pedersen. And then uh, not looking terribly comfortable, Tina Bai finding this uh, pace too fast. The uh, tall Trondheimer. But Milene Tellio, if she can hang on and get to fifth place here, she'd do really well. But Bauer just with the uh, edge at the moment. Neither of these two did uh, anything noteworthy in the sprints uh, last year. Fiona Bauer was ooh, outside the uh, top 30, never placed in the top 15 of a sprint, so it gives you a measure of her improvement. It also gives you a measure of the improvement that Petra Majic, Majic of uh, Slovenia has made. She's in the final, which comes next, the women's final. So this is uh, Elder Pedersen on the left of your picture there. Still, it's the Canadian, the closest pursuer to Viola Bauer. Down they come. Viola Bauer from uh, Oberwiesenthal. And I was thinking about this. Yes, she's just just celebrated her 25th birthday just a couple of days ago, 13th of December. So she leads at the moment. Tina Bai has moved into uh, second place. Then uh, Melaine Terio. So the tall Norwegian getting moving now and it's Hilda Pedersen who's relegated to last place Viola Bauer looking very purposeful here looking to try and grab fifth place if she can Hilda Pedersen uh, struggling scrappy as the uh, pressure is applied up front and she tries to stay with them just the technique particularly around the turns just not as correct not confident round there, not able to let the speed run round. That's another length or so uh, lost. Tina Bai on the left of your picture, challenging uh, Viola Bauer on your right for Germany. It's Norway versus Germany. And uh, Tina Bai really skiing much better now than at any time previously in this race. Right, almost shoulder to shoulder. Bauer, though, just getting a little bit more extension. Skips out on the inside and just keeps that... Uh, important inside position not quite back in the stadium yet and coming down with one more left hand turn which will be crucial before they hit the, st hit the uh, stadium there is the left hander and Viola Bauer's got that key inside position now can she hold off the power of the Norwegian who's now in instantly to her left here comes Tina Boy and again you can see Bauer very track wise there she got all the right lines there, Bauer, but now it's all about who's got the strength down the finishing straight. She always kept herself half a length ahead. Viola Bauer being challenged now by Tina Bai. Tina Bai coming through now, and the Norwegians just outpaced her to uh, take fifth place. Sixth is then Viola Bauer. Brave attempt to make it all from the front, and then 
after that, uh, I think it was Melaine Terrio ahead of Hilda Pedersen, but confirmation of that in a moment. So, fifth. It wasn't, in fact, it was Hilda Pedersen in front of Milane Terrio. So, Tina Bai gets fifth place. Viola Bauer is sixth in the ranking at the end of the women's competition. And then seventh, Hilda Pedersen. Eighth is Milane Terrio. Now, uh, she did absolutely nothing wrong here, Viola Bauer. She got all the right lines. She closed the door, kept closing the door on the Norwegian. But... Tina Bai's power at the end of the day, too much. Again here, you see, on the right-hander, she's absolutely on the right line, but by about a length, the Norwegian takes fifth place. Fifth place worth uh, 40 World Cup points. And then uh, Hilda Pedersen ahead of an exhausted Melaine Terrio. So... That's, that's a length, half a length, comfortable in the end. Well, that was clear to see, and now, of course, it's the turn of the four women who've made it through to the final. Ventascori, Petra Macic, Becky Scott, Kati Sundquist for uh, Norway, Slovenia, Canada and Finland, respectively. There's the Finn, there's Kati Sundquist. Silver medal, brilliant silver in the World Championships. And you can see effective both in classic and freestyle. Becky Scott from uh, Canada, she's the Canadian number one, she's the highest ranked Canadian in the World Cup ranking so far. Look at the difference in stature between Becky Scott and Petra Macic, who's really tall and even taller than uh, Ben Toscari. Ben Toscari, though, very, in a sense, very slight, thin. But classic racing is what she knows all about. So... Ventascari beat Petra Magis by eight seconds in the qualifying round at the end of the day. Becky Scott was nine seconds back, almost ten. Caddy Sundquist was over ten seconds off the pace. And it's Scori on the inside who's got the advantage being pursued by Magic, then Becky Scott, and then Sundquist. So the qualifying times being replicated here in the race order in the early part of the race, the first 150 metres. Magic, though, will try to throw it down to Scori. She's got to try to stay close with her. Becky Scott on the outside there. One of her finest performances over the weekend in Davos, winning the uh, 10,000 metre race. She is, of course, the world champion at that distance. And uh, although we've got a freestyle race coming up at uh, Ramsau this weekend, uh, Ben Tuscari said that she's really looking forward to it. She thinks that because it's a mass start, even though it's over a long distance, she thinks that she has a better chance of being able to hold onto the pack. Well, that we've got for you on Saturday morning live here on Eurosport. So in the form that score is in now, it's going to be very interesting to see how effective she can be. And she's zoomed away. Absolute duck. Look at the pace. Nobody can go this. Magic uh, may, being made to look pedestrian behind her. And she isn't going slowly. Becky Scott tucked in. Could be a bit of a burn up between these three towards the end. Caddy Sundquist doing well to hang on to the other two there. Further we go, the further the gap opens up between Scory and her closest pursuer. And this, of course, will give Pentascori this all-important lead in the overall World Cup. Katarina Neumann over, the leader before this morning's competition started with uh, two victories, both of them in freestyle racing, but she's been very consistent, Neumann over, but not involved in this classic race today. Uh, sprinting action, of course, will be in Garmisch Partenkirchen live here on Eurosport. That's on the 27th of December, holiday time. So hopefully you can join us for that as well. Full coverage 
of the uh, quarterfinals and semifinals and finals. And uh, the setting in the Olympic Stadium, in the uh, shadow of the famous big hill that will be used for the four hills on the 1st of January 2002. And uh, that uh, on the course there in Garmisch promises to be maybe a little bit more competitive. Ben Descar has won this. It's just a question of who's going to become second. It's Magic on the right of your picture in blue. And now Becky Scott trying to close on her. But uh, Magic had the advantage of the inside line there. Katy Sundquist still close enough, if good enough, to get second. But nobody's going to get first. And uh, Ben Descari, who was victorious in the opening race of the season, the 10K Classic in Quopio, then again in Konya over 5,000 metres, and then most recently, once again, over 10,000 metres in uh, Davos. Heading now down the finishing straight, whilst the others have yet to arrive at that point. But Ben Descari now going for the line. Total domination. Must be about seven seconds ahead of the rest. Who gets second? Good race coming in for second place. Magic just out uh, scoring Becky Scott and Sundquist in fourth place. Good, good go there by Becky Scott to try and get back at Magic. But Magic just with a uh, height and lunging technique getting ahead of the uh, Canadian for second place. But Magic very good there and uh, that puts her on the podium for the first time this season and Becky Scott likewise on the World Cup podium for the first time. Paddy Sundquist in fourth place. Well, I suppose it's fair to say the race was won in the first few strides. Scorey right on the inside and uh, never in danger. Men's finals to come when we come back.